from the world-famous Riverwalk in San Antonio, Texas, it's time to celebrate Military City USA with a 7th Annual Armed Forces River Parade. Today's parade is presented by Budweiser. United States Armed Forces, this Bud's for you. By Visit San Antonio. Explore our great city at visitsanantonio.com. And by the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. Visit the SanAntonioRiverwalk.com. Hello and welcome to the 7th Annual Armed Forces River Parade presented by Budweiser. Today's theme is Celebrate Military City USA and here in San Antonio we are celebrating 300 years and our official designation is Military City USA. It is all about our military heroes as we celebrate their service, their sacrifice and their heroism. Good evening, I'm Ryan Wolf, And I'm Delane Matthew. Thank you so much for joining us here on the beautiful Riverwalk in downtown San Antonio. Balmy 99 degrees. It sure feels like here. it. But we've got a nice breeze. It's going to be a great night. On stage tonight is the Army 323rd Fort Sam's own brass band. They are amazing. They will be providing us with some great music tonight. We will also be entertained by the USO Show Troop. They travel the world entertaining troops and veterans and civilians. But before we get underway today, let's send it over to the stage and City Councilman Roberto Trevino. Good evening, everybody. Happy Armed Forces Day. I want to first thank all the men and women of the United States Armed Forces for your service to our country. Thanks to the people like you, San Antonio is able to celebrate 300 years, not just as a city, but as Military City USA. Armed Forces Day is celebrated during Military Appreciation Month as a way to honor all branches of the military. San Antonio is proud of its legacy of assisting our servicemen and women. What better way to show our love for the Army, Air Force, Marines, and Navy than a parade, than a parade on the nation's most iconic river walk here in San Antonio. Once again, I want to say thank you for being here today. Thank you for your service. I want to thank our Grand Marshal, Nate Boyer, for being here today. And thank you to all the hosts and the United Service Organizations and the Riverwalk for hosting. At this moment, we'll now welcome Ms. Patsy Torres to do the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Parts we watched were still gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless you. And our beautiful national anthem by Patsy Torres. Once again, round of applause, everyone. Thank you so much, Patsy. That was beautiful. We need to kick off our parade tonight 
with who else? None other than the Marines, riding on their amphibious watercrafts. They're gonna ride through the river forest in the Arneson River Theater. They're gonna check out the Riverwalk Forest to get ready, pave the way for a fabulous Armed Forces River Parade. Yeah, they're scoping things out for us, making sure that everything is okay as we begin our annual event here on the Riverwalk. One of our favorite times of the year is during Armed Service Armed Forces Day because we get to honor all branches of the military. That's Everybody right. here is represented. And it, we would be remiss if we didn't mention service member families because they go through so much so that we can all be safe here at home. Tonight, Ryan, in the crowd, we have veterans. We have POW survivors who have seen the worst of the worst of our wars. Tonight is all about the men and women who have sacrificed everything for us, and we appreciate them, and that's what it's all about. And our Grand Marshal. Yeah, you know, it's such a special guy. We got a chance to meet him before it all began. So humble, so down to earth. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our Grand Marshal. This is Nate Boyer. He is riding on a flow today sponsored by Visit San Antonio. Nate is a former Army Green Beret and former Seattle Seahawks who also played for the University of Texas Longhorns, a walk-on player, folks. He received 15 collegiate football honors for his time both on the field as a long snapper and off for his charitable involvement, academic achievements, and community service. Unbelievable life that he has led so far. Every year, he climbs Mount Kilimanjaro with wounded veterans and former NFL players to raise money for clean water wells in Tanzania. He also co-founded the nonprofit MVP, which stands for Merging Vets and Players, which helps combat veterans and former professional athletes like himself find purpose once that uniform comes off. It's incredible. I mean, he makes me want to be a better yeah. person, right? I don't feel like I'm achieving enough. I'm also a <laughs> slight bit biased as I'm a Texas Longhorn. Hey, it's I, my alma mater. I, but he just represents everything he, that is right with our country. And he took a selfie with you and made you <laughs> the happiest did, woman yes. on this planet. Hey, yes. this float again sponsored by Visit San Antonio. They're proud to celebrate the men and women of America's armed forces, and they are honored to have the opportunity to share their gratitude alongside the citizens of Military City USA with all those who serve our country. We had the honor and the pleasure to speak to Nate before it began. Let's take a listen. It's amazing. Uh, you know, I'm not a Texas native, but I always love coming back here. I love every second of the five years I lived here. And, uh, you know, for San Antonio itself, I used to, to train out of Camp Bolas when I was in the Texas National Guard. Uh, so my time back at UT, you know, I'd come down here for training and whatnot when I was getting ready to deploy. Got to play in two Alamo Bowls, won one, lost one. Uh, but yeah, I just, I love the city, man, the history here, uh, the people. The weather for the most part, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just really special. And, and especially today, you know, what it's about is the armed forces and, and honoring men and women who serve, who have served, and you know, those that aren't, aren't here today to enjoy it with us. So uh, it's a really special opportunity to, to be here. And I'm, I'm just very grateful that I get to sit in that, that seat and sort of uh, not necessarily be a representative um, of the veteran community or for the veteran community, but just be a part of the veteran community. Welcome back to the 2018 Armed Forces River Parade in beautiful downtown San Antonio at the Arneson River on the Riverwalk. Beautiful day for today's events and our second float, the United States Army. Playing the United States Army theme tonight, Fort Sam's own, the 323rd U.S. Army Band was formed in 1944. It is requested frequently for performances ranging from military ceremonies to holiday concerts and has been an integral part of the musical education of children in the greater San Antonio area as well as in South Texas. Fort Sam's own has been recognized numerous times for its participation in events all over the country. Yeah, riding on the float is Lieutenant General Jeffrey Buchanan as the senior commander for Fort Sam Houston at Camp Bullis and the commanding general of U.S. Army North 5th Army. I'll tell you what, they're rocking out. Let's listen oh, in. yeah, let's listen. I can't call it sick on Monday. Wonderful stuff right there. Our next float, 
This is the Brook City Base Float, sponsored by Texas A&M University San Antonio, one of the fastest growing universities in the state, and the first comprehensive four-year university established on the south side of San Antonio. A&M San Antonio is a military-embracing institution and serves its military-connected students in the distinct Patriots Casa, a standalone building that assists the military community with the transition to academic life. And by the way, A&M SA is also the first Purple Heart University in San Antonio and offers the lowest tuition rates out of any four-year university in the city. Yeah, I remember when they first came on scene here in San Antonio, there were so many people who were very excited about that. On the float tonight, we have Director of Military Affairs, Richard Delgado, Jr., President of Student Veterans of America, Gabby Porras, Miss Texas A&M University San Antonio, C. Arce, Texas A&M University San Antonio, Greg Gonzalez, and Student Veterans and ROTC Cadets we on the float uh, as well. We would be remiss if we didn't mention Congressman Will, Will Hurd right there. We love seeing you up there today. Again, a steamy day here in the Riverwalk, but so beautiful to see all of our men and women in uniform here at this wonderful theater here in San Antonio. As we celebrate Military City USA, our 300th birthday here in San Antonio. And our next float coming up. This is the Battle of the Alamo float. It's sponsored by the city of Gonzales, Texas Chamber of Commerce. Now, you're invited to visit your connection to Texas history in Gonzales, where the first shots for Texas independence actually began. Yeah, visit the historic site, shop for one-of-a-kind uniques, antiques, a try of their famous barbecue. Gonzales pride was earned 180 plus years ago and has not seemingly lost any momentum. Not only home to the Immortal 32 who made it to the Alamo, but home of the Come and Take It Cannon. In addition to the cannon, the museums are filled with other documents and artifacts that tell the story of the independence. That's right. Plan to attend the Come and Take It celebration during the first weekend of October with live music by Shenandoah, Gene Watson, and Eddie Raven. Also, Winterfest is coming up, too. So if you can make it out to Gonzales, go see him. It is nice. And we are just getting started. If you are watching this at home, don't go anywhere. We have so much more as we continue with the Armed Forces River Parade here from San Antonio, Texas, right after this. Well, we saw the Army. Now it's time for the Marines to make their way here at the Arneson Theater at the San Antonio Riverwalk as we continue with our Armed Forces River Parade. The Marine Corps Recruiting Station, San Antonio's mission is to seek out and find the highest quality young men and women to take up the challenge to earn the title of the United States Marine. Yeah, in order to continue maintaining the high Marine Corps and Department of Defense quality standards and attain a diverse entry-level population representative of national demographics, they strive to enlist only the best and the brightest youth in the United States of America. They seek individuals who are mentally, morally, and physically qualified to be transformed. Really, that's what happens. You are transformed into Marines and foster that elite warrior culture. Yeah, each applicant must embrace those core values. We're talking honor, courage, and commitment. They are not taking applications, only commitments. This philosophy, they make sure it stands strong. Since 1775, the Marine Corps has done three things. Make Marines, win our nation's battles, and return quality citizens to America. And guess what? A job well done. Yeah, simplify, my friends. And there, we hear it, their anthem. Let's listen in. This next float is a little near and dear to our hearts. That's because it's our parent company. This is the Flags Over Texas float, sponsored by St. Clair San Antonio. WAI, KBB, KM, KMYS TV, or the local NBC, Fox, and CW Network broadcast affiliates for San Antonio. The mission is to provide the best in entertainment, local news, weather, and sports, and to be an active, involved member of the community. We are so proud to sponsor and air the 2018 Armed 
Forces River Parade. That's right. And on that flow, you can see Camilla Rambaldi, Chris Suchan, among so many of our proud journalists out there. With award-winning local newscasts, your favorite shows and sports, and impactful advertising opportunities for clients, it is their privilege to serve viewers and customers. So nice to see some familiar faces on that float and everybody dressed so patriotic and of course red, white, and blue. All right, let's bring in our next float as we hear the musicians playing is Fort Sam Houston float sponsored by the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. The San Antonio Riverwalk Association, a nonprofit membership association dedicated to promote, protect, and preserve the San Antonio Riverwalk, one of the best treasures here and anywhere. And of course at the helm, is the mascot of the Riverwalk, the duck. The association accomplishes this, all that they do, through the production of 25 annual events and the publication of Rio Magazine. You may have seen it, H-E-B, all around, uh, everywhere, the official magazine of the San Antonio Riverwalk. And riding on the Riverwalk We're looking at Association Delane. float is Royalty. Queen Brianna Bars and King Ernie Zuniga, along with their royal court. We love working guys. with them, and you guys look fantastic, Beautiful. too. Beautiful. Look at that bling, You too, Delane. Ernie. Delane, that's a lot of bling. It is. Yeah, we'll have I'm to jealous. work on you for yeah, next year, I perhaps. I need to wear something. All right, great to see that flow. That's for sure fantastic. And uh, we're going to get ready to see our next float, which is the San Antonio Military Medical Center float. And riding on the float are representatives from the dreams fulfilled through music. This organization, very special and a pioneer in the development of creative teaching for students with all types of disabilities. Yeah, whether the students' needs are for music therapy or a program of adaptive teaching strategies, whether it be in a private lesson setting, it is the goal to identify qualified teachers and therapists who can actually provide services that will result in bringing the joy of making music to all the special challenges. Let's listen. to see what music can do for everybody. It just brings Lift everybody your spirits. together. Absolutely. People here in the theater, if you're watching them, I mean, just beautiful faces, so much pride for what they're hearing right now and those who they represent there on that float right there, Delaney. Well, let's go over to Mike Hernandez. He has a special guest for us. Mike? Hey, I'm joined by Katie Reynolds. She's the Director of Corporate Affairs for Silver Eagle. And uh, Katie, Budweiser's doing some pretty special things. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Because uh, it, it, can, uh, it can really help. Yeah, so today we were so proud and pre-parade uh, ceremony to present two $5,000 scholarships to the Schaefer girls, whose father, uh, U.S. Air Force Major Rick Schaefer, was killed, killed in the line of duty. Um, so we were really proud to present $10,000 to Folds of Honor. Folds of Honor Foundation, uh, Budweiser has uh, partnered with them since 2011 and given them over $14 million uh, through partnerships with their wholesalers. And what people at home watching today can do, between now and Memorial Day, Bud Budweiser is giving away, is one dollar per every case of Budweiser sold between now and Memorial Day is going to the Folds of Honor Foundation. And additionally, between now and September 30th, we have a new uh, special brew coming out called the Budweiser Freedom Reserve, and it's specially brewed by uh, veteran brewmasters. And so between now and September 30th, you go out and you buy that Budweiser Freedom Reserve, one dollar per every case of that, between now and September 30th is gonna go back to the Folds of Honor Foundation. Well, thank you so much for what you all do here locally and, and what Budweiser does here uh, around the country. That's very good, and I know a lot of people are going to benefit from it. Well, Silver Eagle, we believe in giving back to those who give, give to us, and we're really proud to do it. Katie Reynolds, thank you so much. Don't go away. We'll be back with more right after this short break.
And welcome back to San Antonio, Texas in the 2018 Armed Forces River Parade. We've mentioned the Army, we've mentioned the Marines. It's time for the United States Navy out here, the biggest representation so far tonight. Yes. America's Navy has a strong presence here in Military City, USA. There are 11 Navy commands and detachments located all over the city, and that number continues to grow. These 11 San Antonio Navy commands have more than 10,000 sailors, civilian employees, and their families assigned here permanently or temporarily as students. Look at all the sailors standing up oh, here yeah. at the Artisan Theater. So proud to see them all. These sailors work or study in a multitude of medical, technical, or scientific career fields. These fields range from hospital corpsmen to master at arms, military police officers. There are Navy medicine research scientists, cyber world experts, and really the list goes on and on. That's Your Navy's right. global mission to maintain, train, and equip combat ready naval forces capable of winning wars, deterring aggression, and maintaining freedom of the seas. And this mission is essential to the survival of our great nation. Now, your Navy accomplishes all of its missions by operating on the sea aboard ships, above the sea in aircraft, below the sea in submarines, and in direct combat ashore with the U.S. Marine Corps. They work hand in hand, really. Yeah, such a special, special moment. Look at them waving right there. Beautiful uniforms, too. Love the nice, crisp uniforms. And they're enjoying they, the breeze as well. They're enjoying it, yes, because <laughs> yes. it is a sweltering upper 90s here today as we welcome our next float, which is the Yellow Ribbons float sponsored by radio station KJ97. This KJ97 is San Antonio's number one for new country, home of Randy, Jamie, and JoJo in the morning, found on 97.3 in iHeartRadio. That's right, Country Radio Hall of Famer Randy Carroll is also a proud ambassador for the Adapt a Vet organization. On that float with Randy tonight, are the founders of Adapt a Vet, Michael and Roxanne Catugno, veteran JP Lane, and his wife, Crystal. Also on board, Cassandra Canton. Such a wonderful program. Up to take care and of our vets. Yeah, they're tonight. having a blast. Well, you know, <laughs> country's king in Texas. Sure, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, cowboy well, country right here. A little in Texas. hard to two-step on board a float, but yeah, they're, they're managing hard, pretty well. But I, I, I'm watching uh, Delane's pumps going up and down, so I can tell you're <laughs> right, feeling the beat. My pumps! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hi guys, they're enjoying themselves tonight for sure. It is great and a beautiful their float too. Look at a well-designed, nice, some Love yellow it. ribbons right there along the float. Great to see some servicemen right there in the back as we get ready to welcome our next float. This one you're really gonna like as well. It's the ERA side-by-side -side float sponsored by the city of Universal City. It's located just northeast of San Antonio. Universal City is known as the gateway to Randolph Air Force Base and since its inception in 1960, Universal City has been recognized for its commitment to excellence and forward-thinking approach to municipal services. Mayor Pro Tem Dick Neville, Councilman Bear Goolsby, and Councilman William Shelby proudly represent Universal City to honor and support United States Armed Forces. That's right, Miss Mary Eddy and Barbara Cummins are proud members of the community who support the development of the Veterans Park in Universal City. So far, they're the only ones with confetti. And so the only ones with Spider-Man. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we have a couple of firsts here from yeah. Universal City. Yeah, so they're proud to feature the Perkis family on board that float. The Perkis family represents all four military branches. Very nice, and the family military legacy dates back to the Civil War and the Revolutionary War, so quite the tale there. And our next float tonight, this is the Texas Heroes float. Riding on board are representatives from St. Philip's College. Now, this college, a point of pride on San Antonio's East Side is a part of Alamo College's district, kind of a community of effort here. St. Philip's College is celebrating its 120th anniversary, yeah, 120 right. years, and they are committed to supporting veterans and their families through the Good Samaritan Veterans Outreach and Transition Center that provides no-cost services to veterans, their families, active duty, guard, and reserve personnel. And they well. have a lot of people representing the university on there right now. Also, military services staff of St. Philip's College. So we welcome here. We welcome them and we appreciate them being here today, as we do you as well, because things are continuing to be impressive here at the Riverwalk as in San Antonio. As we look at this crowd full of service members, so proud to serve this country. So patriotic. We are so proud yes. to be doing this for yes. them. It's our gift and it's the least we can do. And we love seeing those flags. It's the red, white, and blue. Don't go anywhere. Our Armed Forces River Parade from San Antonio, Texas continues right after this.
Well, welcome back, everybody. Delayed Matthew here along with Ryan Wolf. What a night it has been. We are already halfway through the parade. I can't believe there it. There is still so much more to come, though. So fun. So much fun. And thank you so much for joining us as we honor the men and women who bravely put on the uniform to help us here in our country. We appreciate your service. Let's go check out the next float because here comes the Air Force. And playing the Air Force theme song, Off We Go, is Air Force Velocity Band. Yeah, the U.S. Air Force's Air Education and Training Command, or AETC, is represented today by Deputy Commander Major General Mark Weatherington and his wife, Stephanie, along with Command Chief Master Sergeant Julie Gudgel and her husband, Major Robert Gudgel, as well. The Air Force is proud to be in San Antonio, Military City, USA. Air Education and Training Command is the first command to touch the lives of almost every single Air Force member in the entire branch. Over the years, more than 25 million students have graduated from the AATC programs, and the mission is to recruit, to train, and to educate airmen to deliver 21st century air power. Oh, man, this velocity band is killing it right now. You awesome. can't help but want to clap your hands. Folks in this theater are loving it. The oh. musical support is from the U.S. Air Force Band of the West newest ensemble Velocity and stationed right here at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. Velocity can satisfy a variety of musical tastes as they slowly make their way here so everybody can hear them from classical to contemporary country music to R&B, jazz, and rock, and we get to listen to them right now. Gosh, it makes you proud to be an American, doesn't it? Oh my it? gosh, I love it so much. The crowd's going crazy, <laughs> too, clapping. Having so much fun here on the Riverwalk tonight. All right, let's check out the next float coming in right now. It's the VFW Post 76 float, sponsored by Far Construction. The VFW Post 76 is the oldest post in the state of Texas. And guess what? It's the seventh largest post in the world. So rich yeah, with history huge. right here. Right. It just celebrated its 100th birthday last June. Post 76 holds river festivals, Mardi Gras celebrations, patriotic ceremonies, military and veteran reunions, as well as fundraisers. It funds various scholarships for the community, and it offers youth. It does everything, basically. That's good. That's what That's I'm what trying to tell you. And you know what? They look great, too. Look at them waving right there. Among those riding on the float, State FW Commander Eddie Torres and Tomas Fajardo, U.S. Army, retired World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And, sir, thank you for your service. Everyone, by the way, is welcome at VFW Post 76. And they, they want us to stress this part, Delane. I wonder why. Listen to this one. It's open to the public for celebrations and cold beer. Boy, we could use one today. <laughs> I'll buy you one in a little bit, Ryan. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Having so much fun tonight as they go by. And look, I love the vintage. Look at those ladies. Let's listen. It's one of my favorites. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I had worked for all my life, and I had to start again. With just my a children and song my wife. to bring in I our next float. This is the retired warriors float, sponsored by Army Residence Community, which is affectionately known here in Military City USA as ARC. The ARC is a nonprofit continuing care retirement community that serves retired military officers, spouses, and widows from all branches of service. This song so powerful, you can actually see people in the theater tearing up right now as some wave their flags side to side. Just an emotional moment right now. Such a special, special moment. With For over 31 years, the ARC has proudly served our military retirees, and they do it in such amazing fashion. Just a wonderful moment, a great way to continue the Armed Forces River Parade today, Delane. And now, 
Let's honor their kids, shall we? So this is the Honoring Military Children float sponsored by Whataburger. At Whataburger, they understand the importance of serving those who have served our country and their families because so many military families right. have to say goodbye to their loved ones when they're shipped off and they're, they're having to perform their services abroad. And they are gone for months, sometimes it's years at a so time. so true. They are so much more than a number six with jalapenos, one yep. of my favorite on the menu. But for over 68 years, Whataburger has been dedicated and honored to providing meals and support to military service members and their families. They're such great organizations like Military Child Education Coalition, the USO, Soldiers Angels, Operation Homefront, Warrior Family Support Center, Fisher Houses, and Force Support Squadrons across our footprint. Listen in. Our thanks to Waterburger and honoring our military children. Wonderful service they provide to the community. But we want to we want to bring things down just a little bit, change in tone, Delaney. Yes, and one of the reasons why we're here tonight, Ryan, of course, our veterans. And right now, Michael Hernandez has a family who's standing by to talk about a loved one they just lost. Well, I'm joined by some children, two of the six children of, of Joe Castellanos. Now, Joe Castellanos uh, just passed away on Monday. And uh, he's 100 years old, and he was supposed to be with us tonight. We were going to interview him. Uh, please introduce yourselves. I'm Joey Castellano. I'm his son. I'm Irene Bernal, the daughter. Um, first off, our condolences and our thoughts and our prayers for you and your family. And, and we miss your dad, and, and, and we wish he was here with us. But you were saying to me just a little while ago that uh, he got a chance to live a full life, and, and he got to celebrate and do so many wonderful things. He just got back from an honor flight. Yes, he did. He came back from the honor flight of Cinco de Mayo. Basically, we were there. And uh, it was a beautiful thing, we're visiting the memorials, and World War II memorials especially. He was, but it was a, it was a toll, but he loved it. I know he did. Now, he was a, he was a decorated war hero and lady in Okinawa. Uh, during World War II, I, I was asking the other question is, did he tell you any stories about that? He was actual a, a surgical technician there, right? Correct. He was talking about how rough it was when they were in battle and stuff. And how you have to go out there, he told me about this one soldier that uh, kept pulling out his IVs and he kept putting them back in and the guy kept pulling them back out. So I just got so disoriented with him, I mean, just so upset with him, he just dragged him off the field, went to fire and everything, just kept on going. You know, he just didn't was going to let him die there. Well, listen, um, again, I want to offer our condolences and, and our thoughts and our prayers. And, and he, like I said, he will be missed. And, and I know that you all are, are going to have some very fond memories of him. And, and uh, I wish you all the best moving forward, OK? Uh, he's in better places in my heart. That's it. He'll always be in your heart. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back. We're going to toss to a short break. Welcome back to the San Antonio Riverwalk for our Armed Forces River Parade. We appreciate you staying with us as we honor our nation's hero, members of the Armed Forces. Up next, the U.S. Coast Guard is one of five Armed Forces of the United States, the only military organization within the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Since 1790, the Coast Guard has participated in every armed conflict and safeguarded America's waterways, environment, and maritime interests around the world. Yeah, created by the merger of the Revenue Cutter Service and the Life Saving Service, the U.S. Coast Guard is simultaneously and at all times a military force and a federal law enforcement agency dedicated to safety, security, and stewardship missions. I got to spend some time with them in Miami. They were kind of like Miami Vice out there. They were incredible, on the water all the time. They save lives, they protect the environment, they defend the homeland.
land. They enforce federal laws on the high seas, the nation's coastal waters, and its inland waterways. They do everything yeah, for our country. And of course, they're not far away in Corpus Christi yes. as well. Big presence there as well. All right, right now we're going to be honoring our country with a float sponsored by the United States Border Patrol. The U.S. Border Patrol, premier law enforcement agency, focused on securing our nation's borders, safeguarding the American people from terrorists and their weapons, illicit drug smuggling, and the illegal entry of undocumented people. That's right, the Laredo Sector Border Patrol has recently opened up a recruiting office right here in the San Antonio area. And it's represented today by Laredo Sector Chief Patrol Agent Jason D. Owens and members of his command staff. Also on the floater agents, Eddie McAfee and Ed Nunez, who are the recruiters working here in San Antonio, really trying to pull in a lot of people to help secure our border. Especially veterans. Yeah. They really are working hard to get veterans to join the Border Patrol, an elite agency and member of the law enforcement community. They pride themselves again in hiring a multitude of people with diverse range of interests and backgrounds. To speak with a local recruiter, just head to cbp.gov slash careers or text the word CBP to 94543. All right, time to rock out in the military music <laughs> float sponsored by Hard Rock Cafe of San Antonio. Hard Rock has been rocking on the river since 1995, filled with delicious food, unique memorabilia, a lot of Selena stuff, I'm gonna tell you right now, and city-specific merchandise. The cafe is a favorite spot right here on the South Bank. Then you've gotta check them out. If you're looking for a cocktail to cool off, they give a very generous pour, <laughs> is what I like to say oh, with my yeah, wife. There, just a great place to go to here in the River Balkan. Riding on the float is Ashley Versailles, Carrie Ann Silvers, and the Hard Rock Cafe San Antonio proudly salutes our troops and veterans. Let's listen in. They make a pretty mean burger, too. I'm just going <laughs> to say that right now. OK, so our next float right behind them is the Kelly Air Force Base float sponsored by San Antonio Community Pride, Public Access TV. San Antonio Community Pride has been hosted by Delia Guajardo for over 20 years, focusing on the outlook of San Antonio. Staffed by volunteers and community leaders, it airs every Tuesday. They interview community leaders and focus on special events like Fiesta, which is just our huge up. citywide just party, as well as the holidays. Yeah. And riding on the float, our host, Delia Guajardo, Army Representatives Roy Guajardo and Sergeant Ramiro Mendez, Army Reserves Representative Michelle Madrano, Marines Representative Dr. William Elizondo, Navy Rep Karina Miller, Air Force Rep Art Escobar, SA Community Pride always thanks our veterans and active military men and women for their service to our country. Wow. And we appreciate all the people piled onto that float right there. And she's got to help some celebrate it. Yeah, she's got some skills with that uh, baton too, right? Yeah, you know what? She is twirling that like crazy. Looking good there too. Lots of American flags on there. The whole crowd here at the Arneson Theater is on their feet right now, waving as we continue with this beautiful Armed Forces River Parade from the wonderful city of San Antonio, Texas. If you haven't been here, we'd love to have you. And we've got more right after this. Military City, USA, as the sun goes behind some clouds out here on the Arneson River Theater, giving all of our military members some in relief. full uniform some <laughs> reprieve from the heat. We enjoy our next float coming up. Now, this float is sponsored by the United Service Organizations, better known to everyone in the universe as the USO, right? Now, singing on the float is Patsy Torres. She has a beautiful voice. So known throughout the military community as well. Just an icon in her own right right there. Let's listen in. Uh, everyone on their feet. Such a patriotic song, perfect for this day as we celebrate all branches of our military and their family members who do so much for our country. That's right, from our senior citizens to our children, they really all do sacrifice so much for our country. And this is 
our homage to them. We're paying tribute to them and everybody who has served. USO's mission statement is to strengthen America's military service members by keeping them connected to family, home, and country throughout their service to this great nation. Yeah, we appreciate all the local people from the USO who are riding on that float, including Wendy Fish and Heather Krause, along with Chuck Bunch. Great to see you on that float. Let's bring in our next float. This is the Lackland Air Force Base, sponsored by Dalian 151. 151 is a brand new luxury apartment community, the newest and closest community to Lackland Air Force Base, and it offers great military discounts. Yeah, managed by Graystar, Dalian 151 offers the most upscale amenities that complement all of their homes. It is a supporter of St. Jude and will also be hosting this year's San Antonio gift wrap extravaganza in December, which is 12 years strong. Quick shout out to Autumn Chocolate and military residents. They are on that float right there. Great to see them. All right, Fiesta Military Ambassadors. Now this is the Fiesta Military Ambassadors float. It's sponsored by the original Mexican restaurant. If you've never heard of that, if you've never been down here to the Riverwalk, <laughs> this is an historical place for us, okay? Riding on board this float are the United States Military Ambassadors. These Fiesta military ambassadors are selected each year through a strenuous selection process, and they represent the military at San Antonio area community events, including nearly 150 activities associated with Fiesta, the big party that we mentioned earlier. Yeah, and when you're done with the party, you want to go eat, <laughs> right? You yep. want to go get a drink. Guess what? They're open 24-7, 365 days a year. They don't even close at Christmas. No, they don't. They're a really, really great, just a mainstay here on the river. It's their 30th anniversary of being on the San Antonio River Walk, housed in a 19th century building. You really need to go check it out when you come to San Antonio. Yeah, check out the cheesecake, too. Okay, we'll tell you <laughs> what, we're going to wrap things up here in San Antonio, Texas with our Armed Forces River Parade. It continues next. We're celebrating Military City USA. It's Armed Forces River Parade right here in San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back to the Arneson Theater as we get ready to wrap things up with our final float. This is the Here's to the Heroes float, sponsored by Budweiser and Silver Eagle Distributors. And riding on the float are members of Hero Sports. That's right. It's an organization dedicated to supporting our returning military service members and veterans with opportunities to play multiple sports and activities. And the whole point is to maintain an active lifestyle, bond through teamwork, and to be active out there in the community. They do so much for the city of San Antonio, and they, of course, are our sponsors of this big event tonight. Silver Eagle Distributors, the nation's largest Anheuser-Busch distributor, has a long-standing commitment to our country's military and their families. As a proud member of the business community in Military City USA, Silver Eagle supports more than 40 military organizations, and they give back to those who serve or who have served in their families through scholarships, medical support, memorials. They really just do so much outreach, Delane, that you can't help but not miss. I mean, their footprints everywhere. Yeah, and the crowd really loves they, them. Well, yeah, they're hoping to get a beer thrown out there. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Eagle and Budweiser are proud to serve those who serve and thank all the members of our armed forces. What an honor to have them here tonight. Yeah, well. let's listen in as they pass by. to toss me a beer. Yeah, that was close to land. I just <laughs> felt that was going to hit me in the face. Yeah, it might to end this thing. But I'll tell you what, we really appreciate you spending some time with us as we honor our nation's heroes. Yeah, you know, we laughed. Some of us cried. It's been an emotional night for a lot of people. And again, I just don't think they realize how much we adore, respect, and honor them. And I hope they do now, after this celebration tonight. Not only our military heroes, the men and women in uniform here at the Arneson Theater, but their family members as well. Thank you so much for your commitment, your sacrifice. It does not go unnoticed. It does not. And we salute you today, tonight, and every day. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Yeah, with Delane Matthew, I'm Ryan Wolf. We'll see you next time. Good night. The seventh annual Armed Forces River Parade was presented by Budweiser. United States Armed Forces, this Bud's for you. 
by Visit San Antonio. Explore our great city at visitsanantonio.com and by the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. Visit the San Antonio Riverwalk.com.